Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification button below so that you never miss fresh videos and tutorials you might be interested in. Many thanks to our current Patreon supporters and YouTube members for making this video possible, and we'd also greatly appreciate if you consider supporting us as well, so this check the link in the description or click the join button below for more details. My name is Sava, and in today's short tutorial, we're going to investigate and learn how to apply two of the more sophisticated information criteria for optimal lag length or the optimal number of coefficients, parameters, or explanatory variables in the Oikonmetrics model that are the Hannan Quinn information criterion, or HQC for short, and the Akaiki criterion corrected for small sample size, or AIC small c for short. We'll compare their performance and mathematics of these criteria to the two more famous and arguably simpler criteria, which are the baseline Akaike criterion and the Bayesian information criterion, or alternatively known as the Schwartz information criterion, we covered in one of the previous videos. Our example today is based on some uh, model that we have already estimated, uh, based on 1258 observations. You can think of that as a time series model on five years worth of data on a financial market, but truth be told, those criteria can be applied to a time series model, to a cross-sectional model, to a panel data model, uh, as long as you have got all of them estimated on the same sample and you've got uh, meaningful log likelihood values mapped onto the number of parameters, lags or coefficients you have included into these competing candidate models. So here we've got 15 of them and the log likelihood values for each of them. For the Akaike criterion to revise it, we would simply subtract from two times the number of parameters, two times the log likelihood. And that would effectively compare all of them on likelihood ratio basis. And uh, this particular calculation would be grounded in conventional information theory that you would use in a likelihood ratio test, for example. For the Bayesian criterion, we would input a more severe penalty for every additional parameter we include, and that would be reflected in the sense that we multiply the number of parameters k, not by 2, but rather by the natural logarithm of the number of observations we've got. And then we would have to subtract 2 times log likelihood still. And the Bayesian criterion would be more conservative than a Kaike in the sense that it would uh, almost always advise for a model with a smaller number of lags or parameters. The Hannan Quinn criterion is somewhere in between the two, as its penalty term is 2 times k, but then we multiply it by the iterative logarithm, which is log log, of the number of observations n. And then we have to subtract 2 times log likelihood as usual. This particular adjustment is motivated by asymptotic efficiency theory and the law of iterated logarithms, which basically means that the Hannan Quinn criterion would be the most asymptotically efficient of all of them if you uh, increase the number of observations further and further. For smaller samples, however, you can use the Akaike criterion corrected for small sample size, and that would implement an additional penalty based on k and n, where n is the sample size. And we can see that this particular penalty term is quite sensitive to the sample size n. When n is large, especially large with respect to k, this penalty term would shrink to zero. To illustrate that on our example, we can add to the basic Akaike criterion the penalty term, which is 2 times k squared plus 2 times k in the numerator and n minus k minus 1 in the denominator. And we'll see that for uh, n quite large, the difference between a kaike and the corrected a kaike is quite small, especially if k is also small. However, if n is smaller, then this difference becomes material. And we'll be able to see for ourselves when we uh, take into account optimal uh, parameter selection. To select the optimal model or the optimal number of parameters, we just have to figure out the minimum value of a particular information criterion. We always look for the smallest value, 
no matter whether our criteria are positive or negative. Here the sign doesn't matter, only the relative value matters. And then we can use the match function looking for uh, the minimum value in the range of all available values and exact matches. And we can see that if we have got a large enough sample size, 1258, a Kaike and corrected a Kaike both advise for a substantially high number of lags or parameters, 15 here. The Bayesian information criterion is very rigid and strict. It only advises us to select four lags instead of 15. Whereas the Haddon Quinn criterion is somewhere in between advising us to choose 14. And this is very typical for the applications of these criteria. However, if the number of observations is small, for example, 30, then the corrected Akaike criterion would be the strictest of them all, while the Bayesian criterion would become uh, less strict. This is because the Bayesian criterion is based on Bayesian statistics, and it takes into account the fact that it's very easy to improve the log likelihood materially by including extra parameters when the sample size is large, whereas when the sample size is small, even uh, minor improvements in log likelihood can signal that the model has become uh, considerably better. And this is the logic of four competing information criteria and tips for their use in competing circumstances. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful. In the comments below, I make to see any further suggestions for videos in business, finance, or economics you would like me to record. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you very much, and stay tuned.